Hi Capricorn, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Welcome to your reading for the month of March 2021. Bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You did what I'm saying. So we've got the overall energy here. We've got messages and clarification from spirit here. And then I will pick another deck from the collection for either a synopsis or advice from spirit. So without further ado, let's get started. So we've got ooh, a time to give rather than take focus focus camera. You gonna focus? No? Okay. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Look that up. That timing may be important for you. Also, I do not read reversals, so if you see me flipping them over, this is why. You have the Emperor, the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, High Priestess, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Karma, and or the Hermit, the King of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Sun. A time to give rather than take. And you have a lot, a lot of masculine energy in this reading. You've got the Emperor, you've got the King of Pentacles and Cups, and the Hierophant as well as the hermit and or karma this you think about like masculine energy you think about um, giving protecting taking action towards something so action based very very action based and then you've got your two fives here which you know talk about struggle and we're looking at you know male energy there's you really can't look at that without having actual conflict be a part of what it is that you're taking in so and then we have the two sevens which so two fives and two sevens that's 12 and 12 you should probably look at that um but even with the sevens, those are very defensive cards, especially with like the seven of wands. That's, you know, defending yourself on all fronts kind of thing. And then with the seven of cups, it's, it's about choices. And I know that I'm looking all over this particular reading, but I'm reading it intuitively and looking at what is popping out to me as it's revealing itself. So if we're just gonna read it straight across, so the emperor rules kingdoms, right? He rules over rulers. He's, he's the yardstick, if you will. And then we have the five of wands, there's defending there, there's a, it's like a melee, it's a five-way melee when you're looking at a five of wands. And once you reach emperor status, it, it's safe to assume that you are not a stranger to a royal rumble, as it were, right? And as we're looking at it's a time to give rather than take it may not necessarily be acts of service sometimes it may just be a good old-fashioned ass whooping 
maybe a bitch tried it and it's time for you to come in and remind them precisely who you are. Might need five to the face. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not condoning violence, but you know, you gotta gotta speak languages people understand. You feel me? And then when we've got this, and as we've got the five of swords here, that's almost like the same thing. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of tongue wagging. It's a lot of. It's a lot of thoughts, but it's still. It's. What's the word I'm looking for? It's, um, it can be combative, right? And then moving over to the high priestess. The high priestess is one who knows much and says little. So even with these five of swords, this could be, this very well could be as you're sitting here from your emperor vantage point which is usually you know up on high you are gathering information about those who may choose to come against you in some sort of fashion and preparing to defend yourself from this and if your crow's nest is that high you're gonna have different ways to be able to pull this off right but understand that there's you're going to, when you engage in violence, that means that violence is going to be waged upon you as well. So you have to really look at not only the offense, but as the defense as well. How are your defenses set up? Are you going to be able to withstand this kind of attack and mitigate damages? Again, this is emperor type thinking, right? You wanna be able to, you wanna be able to hedge your bets in a way where you wind up, son, victorious. But we're gonna get here. So with the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Hermit, this kind of ties right back into this whole cluster up here as well. You know, we're talking about a very strong masculine energy, right? And then we're talking about having high levels of esoteric knowledge, yes? And taking that information and then going into a quiet place to be able to contemplate not only what this information means, but how it can be used, right? And with the King of Cups here, the King of Cups is, he, he has a lot of emotional information, but he does not share it. He knows much and says little, right? Very much like the High Priestess in that respect. Now, with that, it takes a lot of work. And when we've got this Nine of Wands here, that lets me know that it's, it's starting to weigh on you um, having, well, heavy is the head that wears the crown, naturally, right? So it is a bit of a strain. However, there, if you can give more, than, if you choose to give more than you can take, looks like you're going to set yourself up for a positive outcome here right so let's um get some further information here clarify the let's clarify the sun a bit this positive outcome can you tell us more about this positive outcome if capricorn is giving more than they can take. Clarification on the sun, please. Clarification on the sun. Please and thank you.
Knight of Swords, Five of Wands, King of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Yes, there is some sort of struggle happening here. And again, with the theme of masculine energy, we've got the King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Let's look back over here. So, Wands, Swords, Cups, Pentacle. Wands, swords, cups, pentacles. All of the kings are present in this reading twice with the emperor. With the emperor. The same way that the empress embodies all of the kings, the queens, the emperor embodies all of the kings and they are here in this particular reading. What a beautiful thing. Okay, so time to yes you're being called to take action um, with the king of swords he's he's very precise in his movements and the king of wands is very powerful in his. So you've got the power from the King of Wands, the precision of the King of Swords, and then you have the youthful exuberance of the Knight of Swords all surrounding this Five of Wands. Hold on, because you had it over here as well. These two are the same card, different deck. Five of Wands, okay? Melee, all around melee. I mean, look, look, we got some entanglements happening. We're just, we're all wrapped up in here and poor little cat's like, what the hell, oh my God. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, but in the midst of all the cacophony, you have this power and the advantage of experience to be able to handle this conflict here, as well as the strength to be able to see it through, and then on top of that, be able to work and build after all of this is done. time to give rather than take. Now you can determine what that means for you in your everyday life, but I do see, I see opportunities for change. I see conflict that's going to bring about positive change as with all of this energy that is in your vicinity you have the potential for this to work out favorably for you. Again, with this sun right here, like there's, you, you've got, it could work out nicely if you, if you listen to spirit and do what they say do, cause man, that's a, that's a lot of energy. All right, Capricorn, um, until we, well, no, let me start over. All right, Capricorn, first of all, thank you for spending time with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye, Capricorn.